Capricorn. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. This is going to be your May 2020 love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm using Wheel of the Year for you guys. Capricorn, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2020. Capricorn, May Capricorn, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for live readings, weekly lives. Links to everything you need are right below the video in the description box. Five of Wands. The Fool. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. This has been out almost every reading. The Hermit. So you have Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Knight of Cups. Wow, the Sun, Sign of Leo. Oh, wow. The Two of Cups. This might be the best reading yet, Capricorn. Oh, my God. This has been out a lot, too. You guys are only my sixth reading, and I swear, this I think this has been out in just about every reading. Definitely watch your other signs. All right, bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Page of Cups. Beautiful. So, communication. This is definitely someone asking you out. Those of you that are single. Those of you that are coupled, partnered. Could be someone expressing their feelings for you. You do have a marriage or a relationship here that... You know, with the Ten of Pentacles. It's very committed. This is a long-term relationship. You do have new beginnings here with the Fool. And you also have the Wheel twice. Things are definitely moving forward. Maybe with an Aries. New beginnings. You definitely, you could be hoping for a new relationship with an ex. With the Knight of Cups, 99.999% of the time in a love reading, this is someone that you know coming back from the past. Sure, it could be someone new, but this person definitely would be in your inner circle, I think. You know, if, if it's a new relationship with an ex, it definitely could be a risk, a huge leap of faith. With having this new relationship. You know, however, you know, the Five of Wands. Some challenges here between you and this person. That's kind of keeping you apart. You know, it could be fighting, arguing, misunderstandings. But it's like there's a new beginning for you. And someone definitely wants to move forward with the Knight of Cups. It you know it could be a romantic proposal. This could be someone from the past coming back. But there is a lot of confusion. So I feel like whatever this, whether this is your ex or the person that you're dealing with, there is definitely confusion. There's a lot of 
emotion here as well, which that's been coming up even in the monthlies and, and, and in the love monthlies. You know, it's an emotional time for all of us. And it, it's because of the situation that we're in. You know, most of us are quarantined. There is a lack of clarity. Someone doesn't know. So if someone is backing away from you, because I really do see a lot of confusion here, a lot of emotions running high. Someone is not clear what they want from you or vice versa or how they truly feel. You know, the hermit, sign of Virgo, Someone that's going within, trying to find the truth. Find the truth on how they really feel about you. Where they want this relationship to go. But I definitely see it moving forward with the Knight of Cups. I see stability, security, new beginnings. But there is a lot of confusion here. And someone is definitely trying to figure things out with the Hermit. Most positive card in the entire deck. It does, it's, it represents happiness, contentment. For many of you, you know, you could overcome these obstacles. There definitely could still be success and happiness within this relationship. I mean, yeah, you have the soulmate card. So even though you're fighting, there's disagreements... Even if this person doesn't know what they want, they still love you. And I do see you as their soulmate. There is, there is absolutely a very special emotional bond, connection between you. And even though they might not know it right now, they still want to keep moving forward with the Knight of Cups. They're coming back to you. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. Karma. Things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. And I think you are here to get it gaining a lot of clarity with the sun. I feel an awakening. I don't know. Like a realization. But you're absolutely... Your relationship absolutely will move forward. Things are absolutely going to start turning in your favor. With the wheel twice. And I think the time is now for a lot of you. Those of you that have been struggling within your relationship. Where this person doesn't know how they feel about you. Someone is doing a lot of, of thinking. And soul searching. Just very confused. With the Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, even struggling internally with their feelings for you. But I definitely see new beginnings that are absolutely meant to be, Capricorn. Let me grab you guys a few more cards. If you do follow me on Facebook, Instagram, you know the, um, the cards got a pop for me and I'm going to put them right here. I strongly feel, oh, sorry, the tower. I'm ready to just get right into it here. Ace of Pentacles. Look at the angel. Divinely, spiritually guided, meant to be. The hermit is very spiritual. 
only in this particular deck because the angel you know your angels your spirit guides definitely guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on and I strongly feel this person is going to completely shock the shit out of you. And it's literally by changing their mind. I mean, this, I was right before. God, I have the chills. When I said I felt a huge, like a big awakening with the sun and the wheel. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, guys, this is very, very shocking. The tower in itself is something shocking. Okay? It's something changing completely out of the blue. I feel like some of you... It is a shocking revelation, like I said before. Oh, wow. With the sun in this reading, you are definitely finding out something shocking. There is a, a huge shocking revelation. I, I think for a, a lot of you, this is a big surprise. Like if you didn't, if you have been asking yourself, is this person my soulmate? Are they going to come back? Absolutely, they are. I mean, obviously not for all of you. you. I mean, you would need a private reading, but damn Capricorn. I got the chills with this reading. I mean, someone from the past or someone new comes in and look, completely just swipes you off your feet. And this person is definitely the one. If you're already coupled or this is concerning an ex, there is going to be something absolutely, unbelievably, shockingly surprising, very unexpected, totally out of the blue, new beginnings. And it all comes from truth and clarity like they finally know what they want after, or you, soul searching, doing a lot of thinking. As long as you give this person the time that they need to figure things out, this person is absolutely going, it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. They're going to realize how they truly feel about you. There absolutely will be a solid new beginning. Moving in together, things are going to change drastically. Getting married. Someone could have left, ended things. They're absolutely coming back because they've realized you are the one they want. I just feel like this person was lost, conflicted for a little while. And now they're realizing, holy shit, I love this person. Oh my God, I have the chills through this whole reading. Capricorn, yeah, you guys have got to have the best reading so far. And you're only my sixth. Romance Angels. Damn, what a great reading. You know, for a lot of you, the time is now. Or between Aries and Scorpio season. Not Aries. Scorpio, November, December. What a reading. Virgo. Virgo season, August, September. Additional guidance for Capricorn. Information for the Capricorn. Wow, okay. That one like jumped a mile. Not mile, but oh my God, I cannot make this shit up. If you're wondering if this person is your soulmate, they are. They definitely are. And they are coming back. If you've been asking yourself or even wondering, thinking about it, I'm not, I mean, I'm not surprised because that this came up because you have it here. That's just confirming that someone definitely has realized whether it's you or... Let's see, a Leo, an Aries, a Scorpio. That's it. They know they're realizing you're their soulmate and you're the one that they want. Wow, what a 
fantastic flipping reading. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you guys. Capricorn, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. If it didn't resonate, watch your other signs. I will see you guys back here very shortly. Absolutely love you guys. Take care.